So our last topic for, for unit eight is the excretory system. So let's read about this first. Then we can listen to me and I'll read through it with you. We're then going to listen to how to label these diagrams. We're gonna have some discussions about some issues with the excretory system. And then we're gonna write a paragraph again about what might happen in our body. I'll kind of help you get started with that. Okay, so why don't you pause this video and read through the reading section on your own. So here we go, let's read through it together. The cells in the human body are constantly producing waste. Our body also needs to get rid of excess water. To remove waste and excess water from the human body, we have an excretory system. There are many parts to this excretory system, but the excretory system includes our kidneys and the bladder. Those are the ones we will focus on today. Waste and extra water move through the renal artery into the two kidneys. Our heart pushes blood into our kidneys. The kidneys then filter out the waste and excess water to clean our blood. So kidneys clean blood. Clean blood then moves back into the body through the renal veins. Wastes then leave the kidney through the ureter. Ureters then travel to the bladder to store the waste and excess water. Eventually, the bladder releases all of this through the urethra as we urinate. And that's what urine is, a combination of water and waste products made by the human body. So let's listen to this diagram. On the top left diagram, we have a picture of a person and it shows the, some of the main components of our excretory system. So on up here, it's already labeled for you, but we have two kidneys. Notice that most people have two kidneys. As long as one of these two kidneys is working, our blood should be filtered and we should be safe. Problems arise when when either people don't have one and the other one is not working well, or when neither kidney is working well. So the kidneys are then going to release the urine and waste into these tubes right here, so let's label those, called ureters. And ureters are just tubes that connect our kidneys to this big structure right here called your bladder. Now this one is actually called the urinary bladder, so let's add that word urinary bladder. So we also have a gallbladder. So the urinary bladder stores urine until it is ready to be released through a smaller tube called the urethra. So in both males and females, excess water and waste are released from the body through a urethra and both have this smaller tube. Okay, now if we were to look at a kidney magnified now, it would look like this. Now, depending on if you have color or not, all blood enters our kidneys through renal arteries. That's usually um, in the, that's usually like shown with this red color. So the renal artery will take blood in. So that red tube would be the renal artery. And again, the spelling is over on the left side reading as well. And that is where the blood goes into the kidney. Okay, so what happens is the kidney has all these tiny little tubes that help clean the blood. Once the blood is clean, it goes back out of the kidney and back into our body through the renal veins. So the blue tube would be the renal vein, and that is where blood goes out of the kidney and back into the human body. And then we actually need a third tube attached to the kidney and that's to get rid of the waste product. So that is this tube coming down. This tube is the ureter. And this is where the waste leaves the kidney. So these are the only three structures I really want you to know um, in regards to the kidney. So when we're watching a video later, it's gonna mention a lot more structures, but these are the three we really wanna know about. Okay, now down below, I kind of mentioned this earlier. Humans can live with only one kidney. When our kidneys are not working well, humans go have a medical procedure done called a dialysis. A dialysis is a big complex machine and I want you to think about this now. And then I want you to discuss this with someone. How do you think dialysis works? What do you think happens inside this machine? 
When you're trying to think about that, just go back and look through the reading section and think about what is the purpose of a kidney in the first place. And then next, what do you think are some challenges of having to do dialysis? Think about how often people might have to go and get that done. Think about the cost of it, maybe. So just discuss these two topics with someone. Could be anyone. Then lastly, imagine you drink a glass of water. So that water goes into our body. It's absorbed in the small intestine and the large intestine. You know, that water is then going all through our bloodstream in our, you know, from the tips of our fingers to the ends of our toes into our brain. And then what happens to some of that excess water? Where does it go? And then how does it turn into urine? So maybe just write three sentences talking about the, the journey of that water. Okay, so this is our introduction into the excretory system. And we'll do some, we'll do some more activities today to learn a little bit more about it.